I first found out about neuroendocrine tumours when my friend Dido was diagnosed with the disease several years ago. My first response was, I didn't know anything about this disease, my first response was to go online, hit Google and just research everything I could come across. It took me a long time at first to find out what was going on in this subject, but eventually I did come across something, a remarkable piece of research in Sweden, and a couple of weeks ago I wrote about it in The Telegraph. It was through something I saw on YouTube that ticked a few sort of extra boxes. It clearly wasn't a quack therapy, this clearly was something that was really very promising, and I managed to listen to this YouTube video and then find a little reference behind the podium on the, on the video that made it clear who I should contact. And I did contact that person, and this was a professor in Sweden called Magnus Essent, who had developed a new therapy, but he had not got the money to, to bring it into human patients. It was very, very promising in the lab, but he couldn't bring it to humans because he didn't have the money to do so. He has published all his results as soon as he found them so that everyone could benefit. All doctors and researchers could benefit from what he discovered. But that meant that there was no patent. The research was acknowledged across the world as being top quality research. But he didn't have the patent, and if he didn't have the patent, he couldn't get the funding. So I said, well, look, if I start a campaign to raise the money for you, will you start work again? And he said yes. So the difficulty here is, without the patent, you can't get venture capitalists to come in and fund the trials. You can't get, no one's gonna, no one's gonna secure any amount of money from it. So it has to be the people who do it. It has to be ordinary people, patients, patients' friends, people who are just, who have a few quid to spare, who come in and offer the money that previously would have been supplied by businessmen who hope to make a lot of money. We can get it past that stage. We can, the public can get it past that stage to the point where big business will be interested again, but it's us who has to do that.